Mark of the Beast? Mark of the Beast is uh, submission and consequent identification with the sinful world system. And it's analogous to the mark that the Lamb gives his followers. Can you, can you kind of explain that in layman terms? Simply yeah, it's just, put. It basically, it just means you, you down with, it basically means basically. Simply yeah, it's just, it basically, it just means you, you down with, it basically means basically. To get down with the devil. Basically means yeah. basically. Get, okay, yeah, so when you're, you're down, with the, down with the devil and you ain't down with the Lord. That's, that's basically what it means. Okay. So what beast what what beast is implementing this mark? Well, this is something Satan's been doing since the beginning of time. He wants it to get worser and worser, as I used to say when I was a kid. But, and so this isn't no, listen, this listen, isn't this isn't no. one this isn't one beast implementing the mark. That may be your interpretation and you can explain it. And I, I understand there's some Christians okay. who probably agree with you, and that's fine, but that's not my understanding at all. Okay, Revelation 13 and 1 says, And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the names of blasphemy. What's this beast? Which, which is what's beast? Which, which is what's beast? Which, which is what's beast? You talking about the fourth beast? What is, the one seen by no, me? What is this be, no, what is this beast that I just read in Revelation 13 and 1 with seven heads and ten horns? Uh, this is basically a satanic power running wild in the end days. Satanic power running wild in the end days. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, cool. Then it says in verse 11, and behold, and I beheld another beast. What's this beast? Look, so you got the one that's like a leopard. You got the one uh, that's got the, uh, uh, the, or I'm sorry, the way it's described is it's like a leopard coming out of the sea. You got feet like a bear, mouth like a lion, all this kind of stuff. Uh, so this this fourth one, which people debate about, is probably in Daniel's day, a prediction of Rome, but during Daniel's day. But this, okay. fi this final beast, my, my basic understanding at this time is this is basically the, the end times power that, that the Lord is going to allow Satan to have over multiple governments. And so it's not, okay. it's not just one thing. It's sort of like a ultimate extension of the most wicked aspects of Rome, but also everybody before her. So that's happening right now. That beast is in power and implementing its agenda in the earth right now. Uh, well, Satan's always running to and fro, right? You and I agree on that, right? Satan's always running to and fro, but he has not been given all the authority he's going to be given until that until the, the, we're, we're much closer to the end. So is so the market here, of beast out right now? So here's what here's what my answer is: is that well, see, I don't think it's a, a physical mark though. You, you, I understand. You I understand. think understand. it's a physical no, 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 mark? No, no, no. According to your understanding, you said the market of beast yeah. is a, a pretty much alliance with Satan. So. Yeah. That's 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 happening right now. People are in alliance with Satan. So the mark of the beast is well, according to your understanding, it's well all over the earth and happening now. Right. Yep. There's already people uh, identified okay. in the line of that kingdom, <clears throat> just as and this is the important thing to remember. This discussion is important. The analogous mark given for believers is is a different mark. And they're they both show symbolically who you're aligned with. That is, okay. That's out as well. But things are going to okay. become more and more clear as we approach closer to the end. You see what I'm Perfect. saying? Now, let me read this scripture real quick. Revelation 13 and 16. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark. What you're saying is alliance with Satan in their right hand or in their foreheads. Mm -hmm. That no man might buy or sell save he that is in alliance with Satan. I'm reading it like that because that's your understanding. Yeah, so that's exactly right. You, 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 you get shut out of the is, economic system. Can, yeah. you, can you, are you shut out of the economic system? Oh, well, you, you know, you sell head wraps and, you know, I used to sell CDs. Meaning no, no, no I'm, there, that's there's not an, my understanding. No, no. I'm you, asking, according to your understanding, you're saying that it's alliance with Satan. You wouldn't be able right. to buy, sell, or trade, uh, buy or sell unless you had the alliance of Satan yet, and you said it's already out right now. So I'm asking you, how are you able to buy and sell? Ah, uh, but 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 able to buy. All right. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, but Hashem Yahushai, it's Officer Pagayal of Banashar, Sakari Toronto sect. Come with another video to Lord willing edify the lambs and feed the sheep. All right, and you you just saw the champion of the Christian Church. Vocab Malone, all right, get confounded, man. Confounded on, on prophecy, right? And you see the title, right? In the brackets, I got how to gut a Christian, prophecy, 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 because that is the Christian's weak spot. That's what he cannot deal with. He cannot deal with prophecy, 
He cannot deal with what he what they call uh, eschatology, end time prophecy. When you start to ask them about these things, they squirm and, and they get confounded, man. And they try to shuck and jive and buck dance around everything. All right, so this is going to be real quick, a few scriptures. Uh, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 19, verse 10. It says, And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See thou do it not, I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, who they call Jesus, worship God, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. So now if you are a follower of Jesus, right, a so-called Christian, you should be able to deal with prophecy easily, man. But as you can see, and this is just one example of many examples, many videos out there, when you deal with a Christian and you bring up prophecy and end time prophecy, they can't deal with it, man. They can't deal with it. They gotta make God they gotta make the most high a liar. They gotta shuck and jive and just really go off the dome, right? They can't deal with the prophecy. They're not in the spirit of Hamashiach Yahushai. Alright. Um matter of fact, let me get this is uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter thirty nine, verse one. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High, which we know these people don't care about the law of the Most High. They don't follow it. They don't keep it. They don't try to keep it to their best ability. They just, it's done away with. Right? They call it a burden. They call it all these various things. They, they're, not, they're not giving their mind to the law of the Most High. Right? And it's occupied in the meditation thereof. Will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. Right, which clearly they're not occupied in prophecies, or else they wouldn't have such a hard time dealing with the prophecy, dealing with the end time eschatology, all of that. Right, because what does the prophecy say? The prophecy says Israel will be saved. The prophecy says the heathen are going into slavery. The prophecy say Esau is going to be completely obliterated and eradicated from the face of the earth. And these are things that they cannot and will not deal with. Like you saw in the video, Volcab Malone cannot tell you that. Uh, uh, mystery Babylon is America. They, he will not tell you why, because he he his everything that he holds dear is in America, man. He said it's some mysterious power in the world, when it's clearly America that's pushing all of these things, man. But Volcan Malone's uh, ministry is based in America. His where he gets his money is in America. His followers in America. So Mystery Babylon cannot be America because he doesn't want America to fall. But the prophecies are clear, man. America is mystery Babylon, and America is gonna fall, man. And this and this and this beast is gonna put that chip out. The RFID microchip is the mark of the beast. All right, and he doesn't understand that. He doesn't get that, man. All right, and this is why. This is Amos. This is the book of Amos, chapter three, verse seven. Surely. Surely Yahweh power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets, man. And that's who gets these secrets. That's who gets the understanding of these prophecies and these dark sayings, man. Those that are pro prophesying, those who go into prophecies, those who are occupied in the meditation of the law, which Volcab Malone is not, man. Volcab Malone is occupied in trying to debunk the truth, right? Him and his cohorts. Him and his racist cohorts, man. And his cooned out cohorts. Alright? So the Lord's not dealing with these Christians. And always, for brothers that are new, that are that are new to this thing and dealing with Christians, the best and most easiest way to gut a Christian, prophecy, 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 man. Alright? And with that, I want to give all praise, all honor, and all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Shalom.